masterpiece. Um, it's the original name of the property. It is a bed and breakfast museum and event venue. Um, and it was basically always called pasture piece because it's a piece of pasture. I love that. <laughs> yeah, so that's the original it's name. It's so peaceful. <laughs> well, <laughs> it is that too. <laughs> and how long has pasture piece been existed? Well, basically since 2018, we established it, um, but it dates back, this property dates back to the 1800s. So it, yes, it formed part of um, the Richard Estate Plantation. Yes. It was a sugar plantation in the 1800s. And this was then a piece of pasture. But then okay. since 1902, the house then got erected and it was always used as residential mm -hmm. purpose. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And also you have events that is planned here. Yes, yes. So um, basically to um, promote the history also because it is a designated monument on that side of the island but yeah. also just to inform persons, locals, <laughs> because, you know, about the history here and then also those who visit the island. Um, so we do encourage and have events here. So we host our own um, yearly a Christmas market, Christmas heritage market. <laughs> Which I'm about to attend. <laughs> okay. And also a tea party that we do. So yeah, that's so. those are very popular events that we have. And other persons can rent it whenever they like, you know, to have their own special events. <laughs> yes, so Christine, um, as I mentioned before, this is Lena Museum of Fashionies. And um, it actually was the home of my grandparents. So they resided here, and um, this was their living room. <laughs> so we're standing actually in the form of the living room. <laughs> Oh, my grandparents, yes. So it's transformed into a, a museum, actually, but then you can also either have small meetings here or gatherings because of the open space then, you know, so it's, it's multifunctional. Nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes. So my grandparents were then uh, Marilyn Richardson, Marilyn Richardson La Vega, so then I have um, information on their family name, yeah. so persons can actually read about that. Um, the origin of the names, mm -hmm. and that is the research that I think is really important, you know, for us just knowing our roots, you yes, know. Yes. And in line with that, I'm going to switch over over here <laughs> to the family tree, actually, that I do have um, outlined. Yes. It's so challenging to to actually get information on the family tree, as I said, you know, it's it's always a research, <laughs> research yes, and. Can you imagine? Not just going one place and you get you know one stop shop. You really have really had to do interviews. I had to do a lot of research in the church, and different things to find out different things on my family history. Things that I probably could have asked my grandparents when they were alive, but I didn't. <laughs> so yes. So besides the family history, um, what is also important here is that you can see the or learn about the architecture of how these old houses are built. So then here, um, I would give them the history of who actually owned the property going back so to 1848. Right. Yeah, I might need a little glasses to see, but it's there. And also the, the design of the, the, the structure and then how they, they, they actually put you know, the wood together. Because a lot of persons would come in and say, but how come a wooden house is still standing after all these storms and hurricanes? Good question. But it's basically because of them knowing then the certain building techniques that would actually help to withstand, you know, exactly. different storms. And they don't build houses like this. No, no, no. everybody's either to the concrete, but if you know what to do, then, you know, you can build a sustainable home, basically. <laughs> so, so that information persons can actually just, you know, rotate this and it's a little bit interactive, so they can read about it at their leisure. So that's in here as well. Yeah. Oh, when it comes to printing, this is my fear right here. <laughs> I'm seeing two bags, I'm yeah. seeing mugs. Yes. Tell us a little about it. Okay, so because it is a bed and breakfast, and um, I just wanted to also include a gift shop person, maybe have a nice, relaxing, enjoyable stay. Yes, <laughs> type of gift shop would have. Yes, um, yeah. you want them to kind of go also with besides the memories, have a token to go, go away with also with all to remember. So then I said, you know, I can have some items here. So I thought of the bag because I always like a bag. <laughs> I have bags galore. <laughs> So I said, okay, I, I initially had a, a like a white one. I said, you know, it gets dirty fast. Yes. So then I said, okay, yeah, we can. Yes, yes. So that's why we have the totes there. And it basically yeah. says on an eat, sleep, retreat. <laughs> so <laughs> that's then one of our flyers. And that gives the history also of um, pastrapies. And mugs are basically, yes, you know, <laughs> for tea or coffee. 
Yes. Oh, that's more. Because the camera might not be able to pick that up, but we'll see. You can pick it up. This is a signature scent. A masterpiece. It smells nice, eh? Gosh. <laughs> yes. And the name it. of it is Lasting Memories. Oh, so for Pastor Peace, yes. 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 So it's sensational beautiful. candles help me to create then a signature scent for Pastor Peace. So it's you know, I don't really um, encourage candles, of course it's that was a wooden home. <laughs> but <laughs> color humor. That is but, so true. but um I think you know the scent as you can yes, I mean you know, it gives nice to the atmosphere. <laughs> so, yes. What is this? This is, that is a spinning wheel. Oh, so, okay. if you remember the story of Sleeping Beauty, yes. you pick her finger on the spinning wheel and then she fall asleep. Oh, <laughs> so, actually, God. it's a, the spinning wheel that they would actually take wool and then make it into the, the, the yarn that they would then use basically for, what it is, for like sewing, basically. So, if you, yeah, this once it's supposed to go like this, wow. yes. So it's it's a whole procedure, mm -hmm. and I will have persons come and demonstrate <laughs> this part because this connects also to the sewing machine we have over there. Okay. So once you take the wool, get the yarn, and then of course you get your cloth, and then you can sew. So yes. this is a whole singer that we have there. <laughs> this is singer sewing machine. Uh, many of the antiques I must say were either were donated by persons then on the island who they know of my initiative, and they said, okay, Natasha, you know we have this. It's basically sitting at home. You don't have any spirit, would you like it? You know, so this was one of the pieces that was donated also from um, a gentleman in the society, Mr. Van Sloten. And it works. Okay, it works. Yes, so as I said, demonstrations will come. <laughs> because besides that being. I think I have a little tea idea. So you see, I need somebody else to guide me first when you're But besides it being able to use manually, um, he also connected it electrically. So that's something oh, wow. that we in the process of, you know, with a little demonstration. Just for the younger kids too, because yes. they get clothes, they can just buy it. Exactly. Nobody knows of the process that was used back in the day. Exactly. You couldn't basically just go into the shop and pick up, you had to sew the clothes exactly. and people were telling you so much. That so. is so true. <laughs> yes. So take us home at the end now. Okay. So what I, um, what I have also, and what I tried to collect was um, antiques of, that had things to do with my family. Um, the professions that my family had. So okay. as we just talked about the sewing machine, uh, my great grandfather then was a tailor. So that's why I really, you know, paid homage to him. That's on my grandmother's side. And from my grandfather who resided here, he was bo a bookkeeper basically. So he did a lot on his secretary desk. So this is what they would call it. It's basically just a, a desk that and you can see all of my work there in there. <laughs> but in any case, this is basically what they would work on, you know? We would have the modern desks or a yes. bureau, you know, that you would call now. But then um, this was a secretary desk. So from back in the day, that's what they would um, use. So this is also to, you know, yeah, from which they hate. They get telephone. Okay, well, <laughs> it is not a, 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 well, a replica of, I can't say it's an original piece it's of the telephone. Right? No. <laughs> so, but it should have. But for some reason, it's not. So it basically is for display. So then basically, you would then talk and then you'd have to listen, you know, so it's a whole yeah. process here. But um, I'm working on getting one that could um, <laughs> make But that is actually how it works. Because especially for youngsters, you know, they see it nowadays and it's like, what is that? I, yeah, yeah. I just know a cell phone, I don't know nothing else, you know? So this is then a record player, a gramophone player, they would call it. Normally, the because the, it's also in a replica, but um, normally they would have a big kind of a horn-like structure on top, really for the sound to come out. Oh, yes. So it's this is then a little bit more modern than what actually they would use, but this is more than for maybe around now. <laughs> 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 that they would still kind of use the, the, the records, basically, you know? Wow. So then the records would still quite, yeah, have more. <laughs> Demonstration. Can we manage to do all of this? This is just amazing. Oh my God. And um, it's basically I I'm really from cassette era and CD. And this too. kind of but not fully. It was like kind of moving moving on out <laughs> with my time. But still, um, I still I think it's amazing. You know, look at where we we, we come. Also exactly. no, but look at where we were, you know. Right. Yes. Also, we have some more history down there. It's for sure. I know what it is. <laughs> yes. 
And and you know, uh, like most of what you see here on these two shelves are really all then donated. I can't say that anything was in, you know, maybe some were then acquired, but most were donated. And the maracas, where you just take up to shake, I put that in line yeah, with yes, but you know, <laughs> yeah, we read after. <laughs> it's okay, you're allowed to do it. <laughs> I put it in line with okay. Yeah, we have right. a nice review tile here, but uh -huh. in line with the patron. <laughs> Normally, well, patron basically there was a rum factory then in Point Blanche area on St. Martin, so back in the day. So this was actually our, even though from plantation days, yes, sugar, sugar plantation, a lot of you know, of course, molasses, different things came out, but this was our rum factory that they had then. And this was maybe in the early 1950s, 60s, but then closed down. So this was one a bottle that was basically saved since then. If you can see on the bottle, it has 90 proof. So 90 meaning this is like practically 100% alcohol. Okay. Oh my god. I mean, well, yeah. So whoa. Okay. <laughs> so we we ain't going there with that. I go stay there. I'm just going to watch it. Okay. I think just watch it already. Am I done here? <laughs> okay. So this was also then donated because you know it was basically yeah, yeah. like a, it was given then to this person when the factory was closing down, yeah. right? So that's what we had then on the island. It was called pot rum. So I put it in line with maracas because every time we have a little, you know, a little drink, we get a little music, yeah. a little, you know, gathering. So that's why it's in line with this. But they were then also then donated. Um, the bottles we have up here are Dutch glass bottles, also then used to, I don't hold rum, but they were donated actually from a Guyanese couple because. You know the Dutch people, they they, they um they were all over, <laughs> but in Guyana as well. And some of them, the replicas or remnants, were, were left back there. And then they also then donated these bottles because you can find them in other places, but maybe not whole. Yes. So you know the bottle is really complete and whole. So it's really you know the way how it's then um, made. Yeah. It's it's really how the Dutch would then kind yeah. of transport or their their alcohol or their their rum back in the day. Wow. Yes. So I thought that was nice because otherwise you would get little uh, fragments of, you would get a whole bottle, you know, you have to put it together. So these were whole bottles. And then we have here the Marta Pesso, of course, then, you know, from... <laughs> I remember this bottle. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I think a lot of my grandparents are ready for you to not even know still, you know. Yeah. But it was also like to symbolize, I mean, what could we great in, great in the, the coconut, you know, for tarts and different things. That's basically how they would, um, they would use a, the that old time great talk basically yeah, yeah, you know so then that's there um the tea, tea it's a, actually supposed to be another tea pot a tea kettle but then based on the size as well it's still a discussion as to if it was just for tea or for potting water or if it um was also maybe used maybe when they're drawing baths yes yes exactly. because of the size it's of big. it you know because it really is a mm. uh, um, mm. It's big and then also it would be kept warm so you know they would wow. put whatever it's in there so it's a whole how do you say it in itself <laughs> yes 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 so that is then in that area because these are things that they would use in the home you know this was also then donated this was then from Sabre so I have from different parts of you know the, 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 the Caribbean or our, our area um, and this is a demijohn also that they would put rum in yeah, oh, we like a lot of rum. Full of rum. So the percentage come back to the percentage. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, remember, a lot of it was um, homemade. Yeah. Okay, so we. Wow. <laughs> so we like the real rum, nothing um diluted, nothing. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the real McCoy. I mean, we. Yeah. <laughs> we yes. worry, but anyway, very entertaining, I'm sure. Um, here we have them. I don't know if I mentioned before. So my grandfather was the illegitimate son of the Von Romans. And they were a Dutch family that owned a lot of property on St. Martin. And um, there, this is their emblem actually, because every family would have a crest or emblem. So that is then the Van Roman um, crest. And so their family, the lineage, it goes so way, really far back. And um, you know, you can find different ancestors, like all the connections. For us, it's it's a little limited. <laughs> so you know, that's why I don't have all the full family lines. Yes. But at least for that one, then I do. So um, that is then to pay homage to them and the little Dutch windmill there <laughs> and the little blue. Um, here we have, uh, well, a heater. Uh -huh, but what's, what's the name? What would we call it here? A heater. No. What this would be called? <laughs> Say Laura. A goose. A goose. Okay, good. I know that. <laughs> I have to fire you. 
Le dije, pero lo que hago es ya. So, yes, it is a heater basically. So, I mean, I don't like to iron. Nowadays. Be Much less with this. Because I will give it to you to hold just now because it is very so the coals would go in here mm -hmm. and then it would I guess be all heated and then yeah you I guess deal with your clothes but I don't like the modern heaters much less this. <laughs> so this is like what you my arms are like this. It's like to me to me it would be when you just hang dry and, and wear it so however it wrinkles. So strong. I, probably. <laughs> that makes sense. Yes, you gotta go ahead and yeah. project it. Yes. yes. So this was also then um, donated as well. And why they call it a goose is basically because of how the handle is it resembles yes. a goose neck. So, but it actually yes. is a flat iron or you know the um, pole iron, charcoal iron that they would they would call it basically. So yeah, and heater we would say nowadays. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, did I cover everything? Let's see. Okay, this is a coffee grinder. Oh, so all the coffee levels. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you have many here because I'm one. <laughs> okay, <want> okay. <laughs> God, yes. But I don't know if I would mm -hmm. go through this whole process. Yeah, that's it. You want it easy? You want an instant coffee? <laughs> but the ground one is more, you know, more delicious. Yes, yes. So yeah. back in the day, then they would have the coffee beans, and then they would basically put the ground in this, and then they would then you see, if you have the that here, you put it inside, and then. Basically here, and then you just grind it, oh. and it would come out with your. Well, I guess the instant how we know yeah. <laughs> would it come out there. <laughs> so and then you can have your coffee. Oh, but oh, this was then basically because of the persons, of course, that came into the island, you know, to use. So there's a lot of people who ever wanted their coffee, so they wanted to a certain way. So then that's why they would um, grind it that way to get it. So, yeah, yes. we have some milk milk cans because mm -hmm. how milk was then. Delivered back in the day, the cans were basically then filled and hung, hung by the idea oh. the fresh milk. Then I mean the milk to cow, yes. and they just hang the hang the the, the milk the milk uh, cans <laughs> basically oh on their gosh. their fence. Or you yeah. take it down, and I mean, but it's fresh milk, so yes. I mean, but you're using yes. it right away too, you know. Exactly. Because of course there were no fridges and so fridges. No cow like milk, nothing like that. No, no, no. This was really wow. milk to cow, and yeah, and then um, in some stories. I think if I, if I had that there, yes, I did put it there because this is a story that I got my, my father. So my father told me, he said he used to drink bop, bop, and that was a mixture of what? Just milk cows, milk and rum. Oh. So you just mix the cow milk and then you're, 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 you yeah, so that was a nice mixture. Um, that sounds that sound like an egg, no? Something like, you know, that sounds something like that, anyway. Yes. But that's the little, little part. Okay, so then down here we have the cool pot. There's two different types. This one basically is the one, the round one then. It's, um, I mean, just put it on a bit. The round one is then what we would normally see um, in Caribbean or even at St. Martin often. It's then mostly then made out of a <coughs> clear, this one is then a metal one. But um, the different forms of it, but you basically can put the coals in it and then you cook on it or you have whatever being made. Whether yeah. it's your drink cake, cakes, or yeah, different things like that. Yeah. This square one was also found on the island um, here, but apparently this one is used more in Africa. Okay. So this was really wherever they found it, I think they were doing different ex excavations because this was also then um, donated to me. Uh -huh. um, they did different ex excavation and they just found this square one you know, under yeah. the rubble, so it was basically we brought over, but that was then mostly in Africa you would have the, the square one, not really the Caribbean so much. Okay. okay, so these are water coolers. Okay. And these actually my aunt, no, to my, my grandmother's sister, they lived in Phillipsburg, in La Vegas, and um, when they were, they lived in this old, also one of the old West Indian home, and this is basically how they would cool water in these containers and my mom basically she had it when they, they passed on and she said hey, you know would you like that I said of course you know because it's basically what they would use back in the day to then cool water or even like how you would see now you buy the big bottle yes. water in your fridge you know so it's similar <laughs> so this is it and this is um ceramic though so then it's last you can come in so it's so that's then also for yeah so that is one that was handed down though um, an antique, yes. 
<laughs> so, Thank you so much for taking us no along. Problem, so no just problem. in case if any, like let's say school or anyone would like to visit, mm -hmm. I'll make sure to leave all of her information down below. Yes. That way you guys can contact her. So tell us, why 1906? Okay, so 1906. Um that basically this is the room where you guys will stay and it's actually to honor my grandmother that was the year of her birth so my grandmother who also resided here so this Beryl Richardson um, I had a very good bond with her <laughs> very close and she yes and a lot of nice memories so then my first room here at the then breakfast I dedicated to her so inside you'll read more there's a welcome book and there's a lot of history of her in that book so you can read more of her there and um, she also was fascinated with the Methodist Church so there's a painting of the Methodist Church inside that's why that painting is there Instead of her painting, is a painting of the church oh, because that was for all. Oh <laughs> so, yeah. I so. can't wait. <laughs> so, enjoy. Thank you. So guys, we are finally in the Airbnb and what a beautiful little cozy place it is. Patrick, what do you think about it? It's breathtaking, very breathtaking. Um, I mean, just, I just and all that I said, ah. Oh, in ah. Oh. <laughs> it's a little, um, you know, nice, mm -hmm. real good Airbnb. Um, this is our first night. We just here for one night, so you know. Yes. And um, we just want to thank. Mm -hmm. First of all, give God thanks and praise for this this opportunity. Yes. You know, to spend some time together far from the the kids. <laughs> <laughs> so just enjoy ourselves, you know. Um, and thanks to management. Yes. Also, uh, um, God bless you guys. God bless you, and I pray that this place will prosper. Amen. I speak blessing over it. I speak prosperity over it. I pray that this room will never be empty. Amen. Even in low season, I declare it that yes. it will be prosperous in Amen. our wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. So we are it look like it look a little bit like um in the eighteen hundreds. Yes, but yet it still have like a, a nice modern touch yes, to it. Yes, modern touch. It is so cozy and what I love the most about Kate Patrick it is so peace peaceful. For it feels just like home. <laughs> yeah, it's just like home. It goes Beautiful. with the name Astra Peace. Okay. Astra Peace. So we're gonna give you a little give you a nice tour. Yes guys, come okay. along. So guys, as you enter, the very first thing you're gonna see is this beautiful mirror. That way we ladies can check ourselves out. <laughs> Next to it has this beautiful painting. This is the metal so this is speaking mm -hmm. Next we're gonna enter into the bedroom. Very important, no smoking. I love that. So as you enter, you have a big full bed, very comfortable. This is actually a radio, guys. So we are going back into the the 18th, uh -huh. the 18th. Yeah. and it actually works. Check it out. <laughs> it actually works. Bed over here. The manual, the book. So in here, you can find all the information pertaining to a little history, the story of the room, all the regular rules and regulation to abide to, and then the refi information and so on. For all the TV lovers out there, it comes with a TV. I love, love, love when the management get up close and personal. Talk about personalization, guys. We have a little welcome card and it says, Welcome to Pasture Peace, Christine and Patrick. Enjoy your complimentary snacks and beverage and your welcome package and so on. I love this, guys. It's all about personalization for me. <laughs> Patrick, you ever try this? Yep. I have to try this. Can't wait. <laughs> Let's check out the fridge. 
Oh, but before we get to the fridge, as you can see, we have our little, for our little coffee um, or tea drinker. In case if you want to hot up something, you know, ready to go, you have it right there for you. Come, let's watch the fridge now. Your typical little mini fridge and full of beverage. Mm -mm -mm. This is so sweet. <laughs> now we're gonna check out the bathroom. Come. Beautiful. Nice. Oh my gosh. Look at that. This is so this is pure art. Art, 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 guys. Come in a little closer, Patrick. So your typical bathroom, but I love the brown the need the natural brownness of it and check out the shower my gosh it's a nice little getaway spot beautiful I mean, beautiful from, i mean if you're from if you're from margot it's far from margot for sure yes we're from the friend side <laughs> yeah so it's important to spend time together you know, you know, I mean, as usual, we need that and uh, every married couple need that. Yes, guys. So in case if you're wondering where it is located, it is located in St. Peter's. But we'll be making sure yeah. leaving all the information down below, phone number and everything. That way you can contact management. But with this said, once again, special thanks to the management oh, yes. of Pasture Peace. We you. are so overwhelmed by this beautiful gift. We just, we love it. We love it right here. It feels at home. It is. <laughs> it is, it is, it is, it is. <laughs> it is at home. So we are enjoying it. Enjoying it for sure. Mm -hmm. This is it. Beautiful. Oh, and also, Patrick, they have a huge garden. Oh, yeah. So, for sure, in the morning, we will be showing you guys a beautiful garden. God beautiful. Bless. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. So, how you slept? <laughs> baby. It, was, it was wonderful so patrick we are about to head outside and take you along with us to show you guys the beautiful beautiful view, beautiful yeah. view. And we are waiting just now we're going to show you our breakfast yes we are waiting for that patiently yeah so all of that is in the package of the airbnb yes airbnb airbnb <laughs> <laughs> we don't know the RV. It's air. okay yeah. so all that is in the package and as we said, it was a wonderful night. The bed was well um, comfortable. comfortable, you know. So the room was easy. Yeah. Oh, oh you watch a little TV and then the TV watch us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Come okay. on, guys. So, guys, the very first thing we have is this beautiful patio. As you can see, a wide open space. And of course, a little seating table. Now you can have your little breakfast. As we said, our breakfast is about to arrive just now, so we will be having our breakfast here on the outside. So now it's time to show you guys the yard. But keep the figs, Patrick. That's bananas or figs? That looks know. like bananas. Like banana. They're too big. So come along. Yes, guys, this is the reason why it is called Pasture Peace. As you can see, behold, a wide open space. Now we're going to go to the front. That's where they do the activity. Look. Yes. So, as you can see, they have a little setup already, um, other seating areas.
amazing. I think here yeah, they used to have that almond tree, and uh, it get it get the um, it fall by the hurricane. You can take it out, check it out. You have your seat. Like a king chair, right? You are actually sitting in an almond Patrick, <laughs> an almond tree. This is so beautiful, guys. It's nice. I love the little history. Only a tree stump was left, and instead of getting rid of it, it was transformed into a piece of art. Enjoy. What a way to recycle, yeah. right, Patrick? Wow. <laughs> Enjoying it. guys we are about to devour our local St. Martin. Happy St. Martin's Day to all those oh, yes. out there. We are about to enjoy our little local breakfast. Oh yes, local. So what we have here? So yes, we have, tell I the people think, what we have, Patrick. Then we have a fried Johnny cake. Yes. We have mm -hmm. banana. banana. We have a, a they know orange. Where is that again? Uh, no, tangerine. Tangerine. <laughs> Then we have a little, nice little cupcake. Oh, that's like a dessert. Yeah. That looks yeah. like carrot cake. Carrot cake. Mm -hmm. Looks like. Yeah. And then we have our traditional, traditional boiled egg. Boiled egg. We don't know how For sure. Be. And of sure, we can, this is something mm. that we cannot listen. Saint Martin people love mm -hmm. this. <laughs> we love this. Guess what to be? Salfish. Salfish. We have salfish so. Guess what? Saltfish and Johnny cake. My God, mm -hmm. this is one of some of my favorite dishes. Saltfish yes. and Ooh, it smells cake. so good. And so also, we, it comes oh my God, I forget this one. Oh, no, bushy. this is bush. Lemon Lemongrass mm. and ginger. Oh my God, listen, mm -hmm. watch this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, and the hot now. Watch it. Don't burn your lip now. I need the lips. Watch it. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, that tastes so good. My God. Woo. Mm. So, guys, this comes with a package yes. as well, right, yeah, Patrick? That's this comes package. with a package. So, we are about to eat. Bon appetit. I know, like how we the same. Thank right you here. so much. God Thanks bless. again, Pastor. Peace. God bless you. God will multiply this place. In Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to do a declaration over this place. That God will bless it and prosper it. Father, we declare and decree over this place your blessings. We pray and ask, O oh Lord Father, that you will even watch over this place in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we pray prosperity over this place. We pray, Father God, that tourists will find this place. We pray, Father God, that event keepers will find this place. We pray, Father God, that honeymooners will find this place, O oh mighty God. I pray that you will prosper it. Almighty God, I pray, Father, that it will never lack a customer. It will never lack for someone that keep event for oh, Heavenly Father. We pray the blood of Jesus over that. We pray that you will bless the owners, oh Father God, the founders of it, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.